Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be going to Draymond Star League, round of 16, Group B. My name is Katie Flash 96 and this game is going to be between Larva and Haya on Fighting Spirit. We're going to have Larva here as the Red Zerg, spawning at the 1 o'clock position. Which means at the 7 o'clock position cross map, as the Teal Terran is Haya. So recently, a Team Liquid released a power ranking thread and to be honest I want to like, disagree with some of it like they put C below zero which I feel like is a little bit uh, wonky because personally I think that uh, zero is a worse player than C. Zero really hasn't been putting up the greatest uh, results lately but zero is a little more of a question because he had he hasn't played in the uh, Draymond Star League yet, whereas uh, C has, and C won both of his games. But C was knocked out, actually, in the Challenger Day against Olympus for the Spenny Star League, uh, number 11. Anyways, we're going over that. Um, C actually went for really, opted for a really early SCV scout after going for a standard Rax first uh, after Depot. And in the meantime, Zero, ha I mean, Larva has opted for... The hatch first, Tobash. So we'll see why Hai decided to scout so early. Usually, people nowadays like to get that scout a lot later than normal to keep up their economy. But in the meantime, he's actually also double scouted. He's actually sent his SCV. His, uh, I think the SCV that finished the barracks has also gotten the scout. So he really wants to know what's going on. Um, I've said this before a lot, when you scout very, very frequently, it means that I think you think you're a better player than your opponent, and so what you want to do is you want to make sure you're not getting cheesed out of a game, and so that's why he's going for such a quick double scout, because he doesn't want to see Larva doing something cheesy and then winning the game from there. But Larva's not going for something cheesy, he's just gone for the uh, 12 batch into pool, into hatchery, skipping gas. It's pretty standard so far from the Zerg, and he's getting that extractor now. Meanwhile, Haya, seeing that he went hatch first, he's going to throw down that early command center. I guess that's why you also want to start early, because uh, when you're going one racks uh, command center, and you want to save as many minerals as possible instead of making marines, so maybe he's like, oh, I want to find out if he went 12 hatch early, and so I can I can know uh, not to make any marines whatsoever. Which is usually how uh, TBZ works nowadays, is like, depending on how fast you scout and what the Zerg does, that's like how many marines you get. Like, if he goes for any kind of like later pool, like 12 pool, or even like an over pool, or 12 hatch, you go like, no marine or one marine. If he goes for nine full speed, you have to make like two or three marines to put your command center in the high ground and make an additional supply depot. In the meantime, Haya is opted actually for a quicker uh, factory, unless that was an eBay. I actually did not get to see what that was. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's an early factory. So we might see a mech play out of Haya here. Uh, this could just be for early vultures and do harass and then go back into um, marine mech production. But we'll see if this is purely a mech play and going to Goliath tank early on. In the meantime, Larva has gotten those early scouting zerglings out. Doesn't want to see any cheese coming out from Haya like a proxy. And he's going to pressure the front with those lings, make sure no scouting SCV is going to come out. And the layer is now just starting, so we'll probably see a second extractor from Larva soon. So we can get that gas intake. So yeah, this is going to be a heavy mech. He's got the second factory up. And we're going to see a yep machine shot first. We're probably going to see the uh, Vulture upgrades come out. I think mines first, usually. In the meantime, he has thrown down a bunker to protect himself in the early game against the Zerglings. And notably, Larva does have 12 lings, and he might go for a run-by with them. Oh, he's actually making a lot more. Um, this is quite a, a decent amount of Zerglings right now. Uh, if Haya is not ready for this, he might uh, get a run by. But meanwhile, the, the Marines have seen the Lings, and here comes the SCV pull. The Lings are going to go straight for the book. I'm not sure if this is the correct player right here. Uh, but yeah, the re repair is OP. 
and the lings on force back, losing a lot of lings that didn't really get anything. But he has made the SCVs pull off the line, but Haya smartly is going to send it back. But more lings are actually coming out right now, but Haya still is a wall, because I think he sniffed something out with so many lings being produced and being really aggressive. Meanwhile, he has stopped the uh, production from his barracks, so he's going to rely on early vultures uh, and goliaths to stop these zerglings. But he has pulled the correct amount of SCVs right here. Here comes more lings, they're going to try to break through. Uh, not going to try to sneak past, he's just going to go to the bunker, but Repair is doing really well right now, and this is not going to work, he's using way too many lings, I don't think he's killed like any SCVs. Wow, what a fail bust by Larva, and notably he has not grabbed that second extractor, so his meter production is going to be very, very slow. Instead, he's just opted straight for lurkers, uh, and not gone for any kind of mutalisks. The first uh, workers are out now, and the armor is going up, so we're going to see how this Lee Micro is going to deal with these vultures. I think vulture speed's up right now. Yeah, they are. Uh, they just said the drone is going to try to make that third hatchery, and meanwhile, the Lee's have missed Micro. The vultures might be going to get to rip, but no, the Hydra Block is there. He's able to pick out some of the drones. Three drones have gone down so far, and in the meantime, the Lee's are just trying to Micro around, but fast vultures are really difficult to Micro around, uh, but these vultures are finally going to get uh, cleaned off, but he has denied mining at this next expansion and also picking off a few drones here so good economic damage done by Haya and he is in a very comfortable position right now with uh, Larva not being able to break through but the army is up right now and Haya has gone for Goliaths but I think he should know that there isn't a second gas which means there shouldn't be mutas that he also saw the early Hydras so uh, Hydra speed and Hydra range probably being upgraded right now he's gonna try to use those Hydras to counter those Goliaths and Vultures He's moving on out in the map with them, trying to grab some map control and trying to see if Hyas not paying attention to his units. But Hyas smartly uh, sees on the mini map that those Hydras are moving down and he pulls them back. So just two guys out for now for Hyas. We're going to see if he continues production on them. Uh, if not, he is probably just going to continue to go into more and more Vulture Tank. Meantime, Larva is trying to get up his third, but yep, here comes out the first tank. Double um, machine shop on these factories means that there are going to be a lot of tanks coming out. <laughs> Excuse me. We're just trying to poke around, see if he can get through. Meantime, Kamsa centers are now going down, so he's going to be able to scout exactly what Larva is doing. And he did go for a very quick queen's nest off two base, so we're going to see a two base hive grabbing that later third base. A high, I think, might go for um, like some kind of timing attack on that third base and then cripple Larva's economy from there. In the meantime, he's trying to use his watcher and bait out some of these highs into the mines. Oh, so close from the mines locking on. But he's doing really well with this watcher micro, uh, just kind of stalling out these units from Larva. But the stain goes down, he sees the early hive. And he does not see the lurkers though, uh, but I'm not sure if it's going to matter or not, there's a lot of goliaths, a lot of tanks, and a few marines to supplement this army, and he's probably going to push out soon. In the meantime, there are zerglings getting positioned at the 9 o'clock position, might go for a backstab run by, knowing that Haya is going to be pushing out, but it's not going to do much because he needs those units back home to defend. In the meantime, he's just trying to clear out these mines right now for his lings and lurkers, and this push is very scary. He's got a lot of firepower behind it. Goliaths and tanks do a decent amount of damage to these lurkers. But, oh, stop lurkers! I'm not sure if Haya saw them, but yeah, he has revealed them. And now the scan's going to go down and notice how many lurkers are on oh, the mines hitting a lurker and doing a lot of damage to it. Meanwhile, he's going to micro back. His lings are going to try to go for a surround. The combat's going to come out, and he's going to pick up all the lings and all the lurkers. And this is surely going to be game from Larva. I'm not sure how Larva's going to be able to deal with this. He's got Hyde more uh, finished up. He's going to try to desperately put down a uh, Defiler Mound or something. But right now, he doesn't have that third base saturated yet, and his economy's in the toilet. Hyde, in the meantime, has gotten Siege Mode out. He's going to be able to kill off these Lurkers and grabbing a third for his own. So he's really sealed the deal at this point. Yeah, Larva's three, three hatch speeding all in just completely failed miserably, and uh, Hyde is just going to punish him for it. But meanwhile, Lurkers is going to try to push in here with the siege tanks. Um, Hyde is going to have to pull back a little bit, but I'm pretty sure reinforcements will probably just end the game outright, or if he's not, he's just going to go after that third base of Larva. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's going to go move over there with the Goliaths and tanks. And Larva can't really defend it because he has to defend his natural position, but he has Lurkers at the top of the ramp. We'll see how uh, Hyde is able to deal with this. 
Maybe we got Science Missile out, and he's got a drone block at the top. I'm pretty sure he's gonna see just tanks and just shove the lurkers from there. And that's exactly what he's doing. So Hai looks like he's gonna take game one in this best of three series against Larva in group B. He's finally able to take out the sunken and kills that one of the lurkers. But yeah, he's gonna set up a contain here and you know, Katana Zero isn't really isn't very good for the Zerg. Meanwhile, Vultures have snuck into this third back middle line. And there's a GG from Larva. Hi takes game one, and we're going to be moving on to, I think, circuit breakers for game number two. Stay tuned.